very good morning if you've just tuned in. Where have you been? This is Expresso ahead of a glittering weekend and of course capping an amazing year for South African athletics and of course that included the Olympics. Now a true star in not only South African but global athletics. So Netful Yun has been a constant powerhouse in the world of javelin since she first stepped onto the scene. Sinet earned her first Olympic medal at the Rio Games in August, taking silver in the women's javelin event in a thrilling final. To talk about that crowning Olympic winning feeling, Sinet now joins us this morning. Can we have a resounding <laughs> Oh, and that's what it was like for us in studio every time a South African athlete stepped out. But this has been a 16-year journey for you. I can't wrap my head around that level of commitment. What did it feel like when you finally got your hand on that silver medal? What was the Rio experience like? It was, first of all, thank you, Graham, for having me. It's wonderful to be here. And uh, it has been overwhelming. It has been awesome, the feeling in your heart to know you have won an Olympic medal. And 16 years, can you believe it? I, I, I can't put my head around it myself to, yes, yeah, there smile. it is. Wow. <laughs> but you can see it hasn't even sunk in there. I think <laughs> no. the, the head is still trying to wrap around it. How, how different was this experience? You came so close mm -hmm. in London. How long did it take you to recover from that, to get your head into the game, to do this 16 years? <laughs> 16 years, it blows my mind. What was that process like, moving from London to the Rio Olympics? Well, London was very disappointing. You know, I finished fourth. And that was my biggest heartache of my athletics career. Wow. And I had to make a decision very quick. Do I stop or do I fight again for four more years to, to Rio? And I just had that drive in, inside myself to keep going and to fight again. I wanted to win the, my Olympic medal and I want to have that medal around my neck. It was so close to, to gold. And to have oh. lost the, 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 the gold in the fifth round was a little bit bittersweet. But at the end of the day, God had a bigger plan with me. It was a tough road between London and Rio, but to have won the silver makes my heart so, so warm. It motivates me again. Rio's in the past now, I already start to focus again on, on next year. What, what was the, the spark that allowed you to, to stay motivated? It, it, does it come from within? Where mm. do you find your motivation? I think it's, it's something that you are, surely you are born with it. You are born a champion, you are born with a heart of a champion, to keep going when, 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 tough, when toughness strike. And um, that is when you, f when you show your real character. This was also very special that I also had my, my biggest dream was to, to go up to Christ the Redeemer. I've that is the, there. It's amazing. The <laughs> promise I made myself to, to show the medal there. And, um, but it's something, it's something you almost can't describe for someone to, to keep going, to keep going, to keep going. It's a, it's a, it's a motivation every day to get out of bed, to train. Well, just to put it in perspective, one of only five South Africans, I understand it, to compete in four different mm. Olympics. And I, I said by the end of the show, we're going to get you um, focused on the next Olympics. <laughs> but of course, we've got London, the world champs coming up. How, how's the head feeling? How are you feeling about that next hurdle? Well, I, after, after Rio, I was a little bit tired emotionally because it takes a lot out of you. I can imagine, yeah. But I moved my, my boundaries very quickly. I start to focus very quickly. I want to be a world champion. That is something I want to be Olympic champion, world champion. We have world championships next year in London. And that is where I want to, to win because I want to turn my biggest disappointment into my biggest victory. Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park is always very beautiful to, to compete in. The, it's a great atmosphere. The people are really close to the track. And to, 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 to be able to win, they will be very special for me again. But I know I, I have it. I uh, have it. I can see the tiger's <laughs> eye has yeah. kicked in already. I mean, you really do have the, the heart of a lion. And South Africa loved every step of your journey. Um, I hope that we're going to see you in another Olympics. But I, I have a feeling the story is only going to get better. So thank you so, so much. And I would recommend that you check out Sunet's um, Twitter feed for some really cool pictures. It looks like I got major FOMO from the South African Rugby Awards. Um, and you can see her very dapper date there as well. Um, but it's awesome to have you in studio. You have an open invitation. There yeah, he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, and uh, judging by most of the rugby stars wanted a photo with you, not the other way around. So um, thank if you so much for supporting them as well. But for everything that you do, we really are so, so Aww. proud. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Graeme. Oh, our <laughs> Olympic silver medalist from the Rio Games, Sunet Fulion, in your feel-good studio this morning. Doesn't get much more feel-good than that. Time now to bring you up to speed with the latest news headlines.